We're back in London today and we're going to be taking you inside a three million pound terrace home listed with Moveley. Yeah, we're in Notting Hill, so it's very central in the Kensington and Chelsea area. The property we're going to be taking you inside has 2,500 square feet of nicely well lit, open, spacious interiors. It's got five bedrooms, four bathrooms and expansive renovations, making this the perfect family home. So yeah, let's waste no more time, Jazz, and we'll kick this tour straight off inside the property. As we enter the home, we're gonna stick a quick floor plan up so you guys can better understand your layout. So pause to read that. But when we enter, we can see the renovations already. It's very clear. We've got the oak wood flooring and that herringbone pattern going all the way up the stairs. We've even got the paneling and the period radiator. So some nice London home touches, very traditional. We've got the bay windows as well. Another one of those features, bringing in some natural light into this room. This feels like a really nice cozy snug. We've got the rug here as well. So a lot more plush under your feet. And we've even got this picture frame here that looks like it is a, a photo, but it's actually a TV. Yeah. I like that, you can switch between them both. We've got the, the gray paint inside these bespoke shelves here, which looks really nice either side of the, the TV. Mm -hmm. We've got the log store here. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Matching all the oak we see through the house. It's a real yeah, motif of this place. We've got oak doors all the way through here. We've got speakers in the ceiling as well, a Sonos system, and that leads us into this kitchen. So if we head past this nice seating area here, we actually step down into the kitchen. There is a WC here, a cloakroom as you come in. So yeah, that's awesome to have that on the ground floor. But then yeah, we step down into the kitchen. These lights are so cool under the stairs, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They look great. It really just emphasizes that herringbone flooring because mm -hmm. it is such a luxury finish. We've got underfloor heating on the flooring here as well and in the bathrooms. As I mentioned in there, it's really well lit through here. We've got skylights all the way down, going to that end as well. So yeah, bringing in loads of natural light into here. The ceiling is a little bit lower in the kitchen as well, so it feels a little bit more intimate, nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. Love this kitchen island. Yeah. Massive waterfall, marble peninsula, and the, the range master sink that's actually just set into there. Yeah. Love the lights hanging over as well. Again, the gray paint. So it's a nice continuing theme, very consistent through the house. You can mm -hmm. see the gray paints with the whites and the marble, yeah, a really clean, timeless touch. Yeah, I like how traditional it seems, even though it's modern, you know, with the paneling on the doors and stuff. That's it, we've got the, the Bosch gas hob as well. It's good to see those, see a lot of induction hobs these days, don't we? Yeah. We've got the Bosch microwave oven and plate warmer here as well, I think. Yeah. Nice. Two ovens, very good. And then, oh. this, this fridge is really cool, Jazz. If you come sort of here, so we can get a better angle of it. So obviously you can't see what's in your fridge, you don't want to open it. <laughs> That's quite cool, right? <laughs> LG Smart Fridge, yeah. that is pretty cool. Such a nice touch. And then this is one of the coolest features in here, I think. It's this drinks cabinet, fashioned out of an old telephone box. That's what it looks like anyway. Yeah. Yeah, looks really cool. Very London. We have the wine cooler just here as well, this side. So great to have that option. Keeping your, all your drinks and drinks yeah. and stuff nice and, nice and cool. We've got bar stools on the other side of the peninsula as well. Very well lit from the skylights. And it's great that we have this bar set up because I can imagine this dining area is where you'd spend the time with your guests. Yeah, this is a great entertaining space, like just yeah. this whole lateral it's floor. So, yeah, exactly. It's such a lateral floor, like you say. It's so long from one end to the other. You can literally see all the way down there. Yeah, stunning. Behind Jazz, we have some trifold doors mm -hmm. that open out into the garden. We've got a nice patio space there. Great to have some outside space in London, isn't it? Southwest facing too, so you get the sun shining through. And it's so well dressed, this house. I love how they've even left some nice snacks and stuff out. Straight out of Pinterest. Yeah, straight out of Pinterest. It's actually Burbeck. You do have the opportunity to purchase this home with the furnishings as well if you want to. So yeah, it looks stunning, why would you not? Yeah, exactly. Right, now we're gonna head on upstairs. Jazz is gonna take you through to the first bedrooms. Let's go. Let's go. So as we head on to the first floor, we step Back down, we've got a cloak slash boot room here, hence why the floors have still got that wooden herringbone pattern so you're not trekking up mud on the carpet. Utility space through here, great size, but if we come all the way down, we switch to that carpet and we've got our first guest bedroom. Such a bright and airy space, we've got double aspect. The owner was saying he actually put this window in to bring more light as we do have that sun beaming through. We've got inbuilt storage through here, so it's nice and tucked away. And if we head back through, 
we have one of our en suites. Loving the white marble all the way throughout here, sticking with that traditional theme with the panelling on the cupboard doors. And then we've got a nice marble countertop here with the round sink matching the mirror. There's some really nice circular themes throughout this house. Paneling once again just carries on all the way throughout. Looks so elegant. The herringbone pattern continues up the step towards the principal suite, which is where we are now. I love this room because the paneling continues throughout all of the walls. Like look, it comes all the way to the top. You've got the speakers and spotlights in the ceilings, two windows looking out to the front of the property. So you've got loads of light. And then we've also got the built-in storage behind Tom, once again, with the paneling. I love this headboard. I think one of my favorite things is looking at headboards in houses. But come into this bathroom, it looks incredible. We've got the half gray, half white wall throughout and we've got the marble flooring that continues up into the walk-in shower section. You've got that sloped floor as well, so no water's gonna spill out. And check out this bath. Yeah, really nice and low set. It looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Got the frosted windows behind too toilet here and we've even got a plant and I like plants in bathroom. Looks good with those photos yeah. too, nice yeah. interior design. Exactly and then we've got the twin basins there too. But if we head back into the hallway I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you the remaining bedrooms. On the second floor we're going to head into this next bedroom. Another super bright bedroom. I think the white on the walls really reflect all that light and keep it super bright. Here we have our bathroom, family bathroom. Once again, we've got the twin basins on the side. Loving the gray on here and it's super glossy too. This is and what I was saying downstairs. It's so consistent. I like the fact yes. that it hasn't switched up too much. Mm -hmm. Every room has their own unique design, but it yeah. still has the same color palette. It's really nice. Exactly. And then we've got the bath with the niche in the center too. But if we head straight across, we've got another bedroom. This kind of acts as the kids' bedrooms on this level, I'd say. Yeah, very smart kids' bedroom. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got that bed looking out once again to the view of the front of the property. We've got two windows, we've got a really nice dressing area here as well. I love the shape of this room. It feels quite long and lateral as yeah. opposed to boxy. But now there's one last floor. Tom's going to take you up there and show you what's there. We've still got that herringbone flooring coming all the way up here, Jazz. The oakwood staircase as well looks so good. Even the panelling's followed us all the way upstairs. This whole section of the property is an extension. Yeah. It's been added on. You can see it from outside. All the houses on the street basically have done this, this yeah. extra development. Built up. I like the fact that they build up rather than down into the basements. They really want to amplify all the light the they light, can get. Right, and that's just so clear here. We've got the skylight and the light on the, on the wall there. And it's mm -hmm. so bright through here. And if we're heading through to the last bedroom, Again, super bright, two windows looking out to the snowy rooftops of London. Mm -hmm. We've got our bed positioned perfectly on that wall. Nice little dressing area here. Yeah, I like Some the chest of drawers. <laughs> I like uh, the windowsills. Can you see how the angle of the wall either side? Yeah, it comes up because it's actually because of the shape of the wall yeah. outside. Yeah. Okay, really well lit again. And then we've got the ensuite through here. A really nice, bright room again because we've got this sort of roof window here nice. opening up out again view of the rooftops it's pretty cool <laughs> i like the the twin sinks the basins here yeah it looks lovely it's great to again to again have another plant in the bathroom with yeah. white marble green plants oh yeah it's a must shower head again here's a similar one as before we've got the rainfall shower really characteristic shape of this mm -hmm. room and we've got the handheld jet as well but yeah real nice shiny marble theme through the, all the bathrooms but then through here, we have a lovely desk space, like a study at the top of the property. I like the leather desk and chair combo. Oh yeah. Looks pretty smart, doesn't it? Then we have this very sheepish seat here. Oh yeah, I prefer that one. <laughs> and the guitar as well. Ooh. I'll give it a shred. Ooh. Then we've got a chessboard there as well. Really little one, but it looks really cool. <laughs> The area is also stunning. In the immediate vicinity of this property, we have a variety of schools, shops, and eateries. Train stations all scattered around us as well, so the transport links are pretty sensational. And we've even got green spaces such as Holland Park and Kensington Gardens local to the property too. So, pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. You can head down to Winter Wonderland this time oh, yeah. of year. 
yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs>